so this is my latest coil this is a matched one just almost exactly like it I've been winding this on 53 quarter inch dowels so it's a basket weave you can't see it very well but all the angles in between the coil are at 90 degrees to each other um, I've tried to space the wire fairly evenly so there's not gaps and I'm trying to tune both of these together and I have this meter which lets me measure mm, focus is not too good on that so I've been playing with this coil for a while squashing it together which is increasing its inductance it's up to 880 nano henry micro henry and this meter says it has about 45 um, microfarad This other meter has a capacitance reading, but it doesn't measure a capacitor like this measures a capacitor apparently because this just reads zero. Um, this other coil isn't going to be so high. So this other coil. So this other coil is slightly under 45 microfarad and it's 870 microhenry and I don't know, should I go up or down? This uh, I was adjusting this one, making it tighter and it was at slightly under 870 it's late 56 or something and now this one's low but I can this one has lots of play so I should compress this some um. the next step is to wind the electrical tape around this and that's going to change these whole meter readings anyway so as much tuning as I'm, as I'm doing it's not going to help on the final product okay so these coils I wound around six inch form which is one of those ducting things and they're tapped they're stuck together but I compressed one end so it's interleaved so I could get it as small as I could and then I took all my dowels and put them on a long string of, of electrical tape and it was slightly shorter than the dia diameter of this circumference of this And then, so I stretched it when I put it on here about an inch to get them e evenly spaced. And then I bound some string around it, interleaved around, and then spaced the things kind of stuck in the electrical tape so they were pretty, pretty firm. And then I started winding my windings, kind of trying to keep it vertical. Um, this whole thing is tapered though because of the way that I compressed that top. So they're both tapered about the same. I've been me I was measuring the second one across the top so I could get the, the taper about the same. So circumference wise they should be nearly identical. Another coil that goes on the outside of this though, that's the next interesting coil. Two more coils get wound on this that are much fewer windings than this. <clears throat> I don't have wire for that. So I did find Sorry for the camera mess. This iron screen. Well, it's galvanized steel. Because there's supposed to be a uh, iron core inside. 
but the capacitor is wound on, which I was going to use this, but this is too small now. But this would work if I used three layers or so. But then putting iron in, like my capacities, uh, this was just 870, but that's close now. Once I put this in here, so screen's inside, now it's like 1200. Sometimes. So now it's 1200. So when I put the capacitor inside, the inductance is going to go way up, and then that's not even seated very well against that. I just stretch that out. And I think that's. I became disconnected. Or I'm um, off my scale. Now it's not inducting. Okay, it just said 500, and it was sitting there. Every once in a while, this meter will go to like 500, and then I'll put my hand in or something, and it'll wake up. But it goes up to 1200, 1280, and then there's going to be another coil around this compressing all these. So I don't know, ballpark, I guess. So on this meter, we're back to 44 microfarad capacitance in theory for that coil and adding a core here decreases that however that's measuring capacitance which is at some kind of 900 megahertz and then this one if I add that take it apart So if I add this other solid core, oh, shoot. and if I add the solid core, it goes down even further because it was at 35 or so, and I'm at 1300 micro Henrys. So I put one layer of electrical tape around this, so it's fairly secure, and this 870 microhenry has gone down to 850, 554, 55, So another coil taped, and this is down to 850 microhenry. Forty, forty-five, forty-six. 45, 46. The other one just for reference. Really close. I don't know. Some minor differences in cores will equalize them, make them different again. So having retaped this, not quite so firm. It's down to 843, 844. I don't know. Let's see what the other one was. And the other one is 850, 51. So that bend in the other one was probably a good thing. Uh, I don't know. Ten is a lot. Bye. Okay, so not only is there an iron core that foil is wrapped around for a capacitor, I cut out 801 meter, 800, 108 inches of this tape, double layered. Somewhere here, there's another end. 
so then I measured the capacitance, and it was way over spec, so I have to go to like, I don't know, 20 inches of this. But this aluminum tape from 852 gives us 827, 28. So I lose capacitance, I lose inductance with the aluminum foil wrapped around the steel, but the steel is going to give me inductance, and the coil on the outside is going to be inducted also. So yay, bye. Okay, so these are two screen cores, almost identical. One is one square, one diamond smaller than the other, apparently. I took 36 and 22 and a quarter inches of screen, so 58 and a quarter inches of screen. I wound some tape that was that fit inside the coil. This is much more than I need. I then unwound that in there. I backed this up two more inside so I had a little play. And I guess we'll go with those for now.